Hello. Director Tan is expecting you. Last time I was here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. We're still getting the commons area ready. Hydroponics is only at partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison told me about the outpost. You're the hero of the hour. You're the director of the Nexus, and you're going to greet me by saying, Hey, Ryder. Uh, still a big job ahead. You know, I'm going to try... He's not going to be professional. At least I can try and be professional. I can fail miserably, but at least I'll be trying. Big job ahead. Let's hold off on the celebration. We haven't found home yet. Oh, there's no need for modesty. Success affords leverage over those who doubted you. And you're my best friend? I am now. A patron. One who shares your vision of a prosperous future. You don't know me. Um, I don't like either of the wordings for these. Like, I can get behind that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'll, I'll happily be your, your, um, your puppet. Your um, client. In the actual definition of the word client. Well, original. I shouldn't say actual, but the original rather than the kind of twisting where now client is the person who puts the money in rather than that being the patron who supports someone by putting them the money in and blah, blah, blah. It's weird because, say for example, Leonardo da Vinci was was uh, kind of supported by a variety of different people. He was he was their client because they were the, they were the patron. They were supporting him financially. Nowadays, using modern language, they would be the client because they're basically paying him to produce something. It's weird. Um, so he's he wants to be our patron. I don't really want to be like you don't know me because that seems unnecessarily aggressive. But I don't really think that we do agree on a vision of a prosperous future. I don't know anything about him. Like, that's, that's, that's the option. That's the response. What's your vision for a prosperous future? What is your vision? Because I don't know what it is. That's... Th Not every decision is binary. Rawr. That's what's annoying me. Is this has just been... Simplified. Oh my goodness, is it? Oh my goodness. Uh, I, I've just... I'm on uh, Varex's Discord. Along with... There's a load of other people. And it was, someone showed a picture the other day. And it was Fallout. And it was Fallout 3. Showing all the options. And then it went to the next one, which is Fallout 4. Well, the next one on the list, which is Fallout 4. Four different options. And then the third one was... And it was like... it was The graphics were getting better. And the third one was a picture of Viggo Mortensen, like, I think, I don't know, I don't know why, I think it was, or was it just a random actor? I think it was Viggo Mortensen, but like a real life thing, you know, really good graphics, and then just smiley face, sad face. This is what that is. This is all that is. It's, what's the point of narrowing choices down to binary things when that is probably one of the worst things to have happened in recent political history? And before anyone says, this is really terrible, that's an outcome, that's almost certainly an outcome, whatever you're thinking of, of this kind of polarization and kind of binary of choices that aren't binary, that aren't just dichotomies. Uh, a patron, one who shares your vision for a prosperous future, but you, I don't know what your vision is. So I can't, I cannot honestly answer this with saying, yes, I agree with your vision. And that's probably going to be really, really... You don't know me. How can you talk for me? <laughs> right, how am I playing Lance then? Let's try and think about this. Is he willing to say that he's behind Tan when he doesn't know if he is? Um, what are the big choices we've made so far? Um... We said let the guy go free, even though he should have been arrested for attempted murder. Um, so... Which was in some ways against Tan. We did a scientific outpost rather than a military outpost, which I think is something Tan probably would agree with. 
although I don't know. Like, I don't think there's anything... There's not enough information for me to actually be able to make a sensible choice here, game. That's... that. You've got to let me have information so you know what he means by a vision. I, by his vision, I don't know what it is. I'm going to have to go with you don't know me, because it's the only sensible thing. I don't, even, I don't like the way it's going to be said. He's going to be angry. Do respect, Director Tan, but you don't know me. Oh, I think I do. Your ingenuity speaks for itself, Ryder. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. Yours are the first trophies to grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. That was a team effort. It wouldn't have been possible without my crew. They're a talented bunch. But you're their beacon. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Ah, my staff. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you. I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. How am I... This is, like, the protagonist of protagonism, protagonists. Like, the whole kind of, you're the best because you're the protagonist, that's what we've got. At least with Shepard, it made sense, because it starts with, you are good. You are good, and this is why... The opening happens with Nihilus. He's coming to see if you should be a Spectre, and that leads you into dealing with the Reapers, which then leads into 2 and 3. So everything kind of comes out of that point. Here, it's... You weren't even your dad's first choice, really. Cora said it. She was going to be she was gonna be the Pathfinder after, after Alex. But because we were dying, he gave up his life, which I'm still not 100% sure he had to do, <laughs> really. He then puts Sam in us so that we don't die, even though he dies. Or maybe he's going to die, he gives us the helmet, then he, he sacrifices himself. Giant asterisk. And then... We're certainly now the Pathfinder. And there's this really weird dichotomy. I uploaded it the other day, actually, with the meeting, where, everyone, where it's like, oh, yeah, meeting over, guys. Everyone's already left. How are we a beacon to a team that doesn't recognize our authority in that sense? Like, the game doesn't know the story it's trying to tell about Ryder. Let alone the story it's telling as a whole. And I hope it fixes itself. Because otherwise, I like I've been looking at the games I need to the next game I need to record, which is this one. And I've been looking at it for days, thinking I should really record. Yeah, yeah, I should really record. Yeah. And this kind of blech on not really understanding what your own story is, is not helping. The game needs to know where it's going and one scene, one thing happens and one scene, basically, the game says the exact opposite. It, it's, it's not good. <laughs> it's not well put together. And I'm talking about from a narrative perspective, because um, that's the one I normally talk about. Graphically, I think I think enough has been said. Right, all opinions matter. This is this I'm a team guy. I'm part of a team. Team team teamy team team team. All opinions matter. This isn't the time for arguing over who gets to be king. Too much is at stake. We should be cooperating. That's what I've been saying since we arrived. Then I look forward to winning our Pathfinder support. I have concerns about your decision on Eagles Rider. An outpost full of scientists won't do as much good if the Ket attack. 
but it will help support the Nexus. Improved research could help feed our people. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. I need to take the Tempest deeper into the sector to investigate. If the other Golden Worlds are where they should be, this could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ked are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight, for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. I don't need permission. I'm technically the... Pa I'm the Pathfinder! I'm meant to do everything to basically keep the Nexus alive. I don't need your permission. <clears throat> professional, 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 professional. Thank you. Professional. Professional. Thank you, Director. I'll get on it. May you light the torch that finds the path. Pathfinder. Ugh. Right. You mean... You mean... Ryder? This is Harry Hi. back on the Ark. Go ahead. We may have found a way to talk to your <gasps> sister, sort of. Drop by when you can. Hyperion Medbay. We'll do. All right, well, we're going to do that. Pathfinder, we are to contact Director Addison as soon as possible. Right. Something about Andromeda viability and perks could be useful. It's going to be the Inquisition perks from... Well, Inquisition, isn't it? And I've now forgotten the point I was making because all of the cutscenes happened! I've actually forgotten what I was going to say. That is so frustrating. Um, let's see if I can kind of retrace my train of thought. It was to do with the permission. Then he gave the little speech. Stupid thing. Which I assume was a scripted... I assume in-world is a little scripted thing. There we go. Path. As other people have said, not really finding a path, though. Like... The exiles have already been to a lot of these places. This is not a path thing. This is not a path I'm finding. This is a... Well, it's a path I personally am finding, but it's not a new path. I'm not discovering anything. This is just... I assume these all change when we um, get new outposts and there'll be more images or something. And I assume this is about our dad. Solemn Pride, remember those who gave their lives into exploration and discovery. Oh. I was expecting there would have been like a list of them or something. Hey, Cora. Whole mood of the Nexus has changed since Eos. You really can feel it. New outpost, a Pathfinder's help, people waking up. It's a fresh start. Uh, third time lucky. Third time's a charm. If you happen to have a Pathfinder around. Can't always rely. Didn't want to say that. From here, it's hard work. But it's damn good to know we're on the right track. Third time lucky because I was on the team. Anything else you say? Great to see all your hard work on display. No, uh, not really. Cause it's not my work. <gasps> the most important ship. Secretly acquired blueprints. Secretly acquired blueprints of the SSV Normandy SR2 stealth frigate based on designs co-developed by the Systems Alliance and Trian Hierarchy. How do we have them then? That makes no sense. No sense. None of the sense. All right. Notable European interplanetary missions. Uh, donated to the Andromeda Initiative Historical Records Council. All dates are in uh, Common Era CE, which isn't. I'm fairly sure that's Christian Era, which is odd because it starts at zero, which rather than when Christianity would have started, which would be about 30. But of course we can't say things like AD or, B or BC because... I don't know. I don't really understand the argument behind changing things. Especially when it was changed to Christian era. I mean, that's just... If you want to avoid talking about Christianity, then you're kind of in deep trouble because a lot of language... A lot of, certainly English... Language and English idiom is taken from various things. Well, predominantly from the King James. Right, moving on. <clears throat> 1985 to 1992. Giotto. 
Uh, first ESA deep space mission. First ESA mission to intercept an asteroid. Haley and Grig Skielerup. 1990, launch of the Hubble Space Telescope. 1992, Ulysses. Ah, okay, using the Latin, Latinized form of Odysseus then. First ESA mission to Sol. First polar orbit around Sol. Don't know why they do things, just call it the sun. 1997, Huygens. First ESA mission to Titan, Saturn Moon. 2003, Mars Express. First ESA mission to Mars. Also in 2003, Smart One. First ESA mission to Luna. 2004, Rosetta. First ESA mission to orbit an asteroid. Um, what kind of stupid names are these? Um, I hope they're not planned ones. Um, first, so an asteroid, 67P. Choyumov Garas Garasimenko Menko. 2006 uh, Venus Express first ESA mission to Venus also in 2006 Huygens first successful landing on an outer solar system world Titan 2014 Rosetta first artificial probe to make a soft landing on an asteroid 67P again 2016 ExoMars this came out in 2017 so this is right first ESA probe landing on Mars contact lost 2018, Bepi Colombo, first ESA mission to Mercury, 2022, first ESA mission to the Jupiter system, juice. Jupiter system? That makes, I don't understand what that means, because that mustn't mean the planet. You've had a year to think about it. It's the Scourge, Director Tan. Its origin defies all known explanations. Ryder, you're off to a promising start. I meant what I said. You are a symbol now. Of hope. Oh dear. That things will get better. Oh dear. Do I worry about this terraforming network? What do we really know about it? It terraforms. It's like nothing we've and it's seen. a network. It's clear somebody had big plans for this cluster. But who? Not sure yet. But at least we're on the trail. The remnant? Did you have some other business? No. That's all. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. I see great things in our future. I really don't. I really don't we're going to die horribly and you're probably going to be either one of the Everything we achieve will be seen here. yes could have said that when I was next to you and talking to you Tan likes to think he's keeping an eye on us works both ways P predominantly his way as in in his direction because I really don't trust him he's either up to something or he's going to die horribly. I'm not entirely sure there's much of a... Oh, this is where he was based! Oh, I see! I thought that's where he was. I was really confused for a moment. Let's go and have a chat with... Speak with the journalist. Oh no. How terrifying. How the hell should I know? Spender, you have a job. If you want to keep it, do it. God damn it. Who are you talking to? You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. Colonies. <laughs> they're so... I don't even know. What, what century are we in again? I was going to say, they're so last century, and I'm like... No, that would actually be two centuries ago. Uh, no, that would be, but that's thinking this is in the 21st century, which I don't think it is. Actually, or maybe it is. No, it isn't. It most certainly is not. I'm just thinking, like, because when was the Mass Effect one? Was that the end of the 21st century? Or was that later on? No, it's the 22nd century, wasn't it? I really can't remember. But this is 600 years on, anyway. So, like, this is, like, that's so last millennium. That keeps things nice and vague. Uh, okay. Tell me about it. Sam said there was new functionality to discuss. It's how the initiative was designed to support the Pathfinder. You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Want more focus on research, like on Prodromos? That's your call. Brecker will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what life in Andromeda means. No pressure. Oh, great. Why is everything my fault? Or my responsibility? You know, 
surely, as the Colonial Affairs Office, this is your decision. This is how you're meant to do things. Like, I know I'm the protagonist, but why am I doing everything? <laughs>